What's up, everybody? Spare what a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Unfortunately, I have run across a rather significant design flaw in the welding arms, and probably the same thing with the grinding arms, um, for the honey badger, and that is this. So, I have this set up to give us stuff. Right? We dock with, um,. The Mark II. When I go into the inventory, however, the cargo connector is this guy down here that's plugged into the Mark II. But you will notice that all of this stuff here, I can't get to go to the medium containers. Or anywhere, for that matter. Those are larger things. Like, all of these are, I guess, larger things that can't go down the small tubes. So, if you'll recall, what I actually have set up in here, I, I tore it open a second ago, I just replaced the panelings, but we have a connector that goes up to a large conveyor, but then it goes to small pipes that then connect to the rest of the piping system that's connected to the these connectors on the inside. So, essentially, there's nothing connecting this bottom connector with the medium crates that will then allow us to use bigger stuff. So I was kind of like, well, dang, what the heck do I do to fix that? And I came up with a slightly variant solution, and that was to use a large conveyor here instead of... Um, in oh, wait, that might not work either, because the way they have this... Um, oh, that's page up, page down. Oh, it's just spinning. Attack. Uh, okay. Okay. That's weird. can't figure out where these stupid side pieces are. Okay, we need an interior plate. Let me just grab an interior plate. Um, do I even have an interior plate? No. Nope. Can I bring it up? There we go. Just give me two. Is this not the right arm connector? There we go. Alright. Because I need to see... How... Uh, I am just... 0 for 2 today. That doesn't help me at all. I can't see it. So, I'm a little confused by that. Basically what I was thinking, I wasn't taking into account that on a small ship it tries to do the... the small ones too is that if we were to put... Oh, I see. I think. Basically where I was going with this is putting a, a connector or a conveyor here that connects to the welder and then we could put a connector somewhere else um, for access that we could dump directly into this kind of thing. Although there- wait, no, 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 no. I'm gonna simplify this. Kind of the whole Hakum's Razor thing. The simplest, most obvious is often the correct solution. Let's just go over here. This may be a temporary fix until I, like, redesign the arms or something. Um, but... Wait. Oh, that's arm connectors. There we go. So we're just gonna park the arms there. 
Now, the one thing is, I had some stuff in this connector, so let's go ahead and put this back. Um... No, that's fine. I can just stay there. Put these back for now. Um, basically what I wanted to do... And see, now what I'll do is flip. I didn't really take into account whether or not that would work. Back up. And let's just put it over here. It should be... Oh, there we go. This should let me dump directly into the crates, I hope. Well, at least medium crate, medium cargo one. Um, like so. Let's just see... how many can I put in here? 6,000. I have 61,000 steel plates. Holy crap. The other thing we need is glass, which is apparently made from silicon. So let's just make like... Okay, it's not gonna make that many. Can I... Oh, crap. Not what I meant to do. Oh, that's still too many. That's still too many. Wow. Glass is expensive. We gotta, get, we gotta find a good um, means to get silicon. But the glass part and the girders are basically going to be for... Well, the glass, as far as that goes. Um... Oh, that's gonna be full. Okay. Uh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Okay. Um, let's grab like this. Stop getting into the cockpit view. That. We'll switch that way. So, again, this isn't really a permanent solution, but it beats us spending an episode on trying to, like, redo stuff and things like that. Or redesign the the ship. Okay, pull away from there. Back up. Where's my arms? I need my arms. Something like this. And... Kersplunk. Coolness. Now we're ready to go. Whoa! Apparently this spins very quickly. Um... Why is the... Why are these not working? Whatever. Just do it this way. Alright, so... We got a lot of iron on board. And we've got... What did I just do? What did... what did I just do? Why was there a... Okay. I don't know why that just came flying out of nowhere. Oh, wait, was that debris from when I was drilling? It must have been. That's kind of funny. See if we can do this elite dangerous style. Come on. There we go. That's probably all the ten power cells that I had. Um, but what this will let us do is work on the station for once in our lifetime. So let's just start over here and see what we can do. Where's the arms? Get welding. Why isn't it 
building. Oh, it's probably because all the steel's on this one arm. More than likely. Um, and I do want to redesign the uh, landing platforms in here as well. Okay, now before we get too crazy with this... <laughs> this is kind of one of those design things where I'm like testing something, but I may, I may end up changing this, to be honest. I just wanted to see if like how well this would work and being able to do that worked pretty well. Um, what I'm thinking is I would actually like to make a smaller station, so we'll probably grind all this back down, to be honest. Um, like, I'm actually really surprised that steel or steel plates is considered um, like a larger block that won't go through the small tubes. I'm kind of surprised by that, to be honest. I didn't think that was the way that that worked. Um, so... The next... Sorry. The next um, use of the arms is probably going to be... Ooh, didn't think that through again. Is probably going to be... Um, get you on the charger. Sorry, I'm trying to like, kind of do and... Didn't I make it? There we are. Set all the batteries to recharge. There we go. Okay. Um, so, what I'm kind of thinking of doing is maybe a smaller station because going all the way that far, it's, it's extreme. Like, for what I'm kind of doing here. I really just need one that's big enough for the Mark II and maybe a couple others of its size and it'll also improve like my frame rate and things like that. Um, so what I'm thinking is that I want to do something along the lines of um, I don't think I'll actually copy the Elite Dangerous um, station design, like the cubes rectangle thing, although it, we could probably make one pretty easily to be honest because of, of um, the kind of shapes that this game has. Um, the other thing is I want to make it over here because I've noticed a couple people commented and I completely agreed that um, it's kind of dark. It's like dark over here because I built it on the dark side because there was asteroids coming from the sun or meteors at the time so I turned the meteors off and then it was like oh well problem solved <laughs> um, I do like the idea of having it run through the the, sh the asteroid however which makes this a little difficult because I would like it kind of like this like freestanding but I also want it in the asteroid or connected so I don't know what I want to do really to be honest. Um, unless we did something where it looks one way but is connected in some fashion? I don't know. Um, like a pipeline? Which would work. Actually, that could work. Um, essentially, what I want to do is have something spinning. Since they've added the gyroscope overrides, I kind of just want something that spins. Um... But I do think I'm going to redesign this as far as, uh, like, maybe stopping here would be a good idea. I'm not sure. Um, I, I definitely don't think I want to go that far out, though. So, let's see. Oh, let me switch back to my other tray here. Um, and we'll grab... For this call. No. Come on. Hello. There we go. 
Um, we can always go back and paint stuff later. But I kind of like this design. I don't know, again, I'm still a little perplexed about the door. Um, I never really finished the door. I might just leave that, actually, as far as um, leaving it just an open hanger kind of thing and then have a bulkhead area back here. Uh, that actually might work. And I do want to change the landing platforms because I want to take into account the thruster damage. So like this, if you come flying down, you're going to land, but you're going to then uh, put holes in the landing platform as you're taking back off kind of thing. Or vice versa of trying to, you know, disperse the energy or things like that. Um... So what did we end up doing here? I don't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> I haven't worked on this in a long time. Let's turn our lights on here. Uh, we had an angle situation going, I think. I think I'm just going to end up tearing this all out, to be honest. And maybe starting from this platform again and seeing where we get. Um, but this whole front arc area, I might... Like, not necessarily the whole thing, but I might just take this part, this first row out, and, like, redo this doorway, entryway kind of thing. I don't know, though. I might just d take out the interior. The exterior, I don't mind. The exterior looks pretty good, other than this part. We're gonna, we're gonna take this out. I can do that now. Um, sorry that this episode's a little bit, like, talking, and I'm not really accomplishing a whole lot. Um, what side did we put all of our arm connector? Okay, so this is connecting to storage too, which is good. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm not really sure what I want to do to be honest. I do I know I want some element of it that spins just because I think that would be really cool to do now that that's a thing. Oops, I shouldn't have done that first. There we go. So let's take this part out. Um the only thing is, I feel like I've got to change this part, because this comes to an edge, which I love. This does not, and I think that's why I was going out a block, is to figure out how I wanted to do that. Um, because, see this is the weird part with the way that these blocks are set up. It's like, no matter what you do, you're going to end up with this here, connecting to this, because these corner blocks, they can connect, but then they'll be going the other way. Like, they're not going to be able to invert and connect to this. So I may not be able to do anything with that part. But what I should do is match this up to where... It goes out one more, maybe? Because it's like, or it should just stop here instead of going all the way out there. Hmm. I don't know, we might just leave it this way because this doesn't look bad. It looks pretty good, to be honest. Um, we'll just have to come down here and start our curve and go that way. Um, but that part could work. This part I like. I like this design. So i tell you what we'll do. Let's go to here and say this will be the last row of these panels. So then what do we need? We need... Um, we need the glass pieces. We need a... We need some one-by-ones. We need some... What is this? Two-by-three? Two, I don't remember which one is which. 
So we'll do one by one, two by three, and then these are three by three, I think. And then what do they need to be placed? Girders? Is that the is that the dealio? So, let's say that somewhere, and we might move this platform or alter it around a bit, so I'm not super worried about that, but let's, let's say, let's say like this one is the last row, right? There we are. Come on. I hate it when it does this. It's like, grab a hold of something. There we go. Okay, or don't grab the one right in front of you. What's going on here? Give me a glass. <laughs> you don't get it. I think that's the way I need it. Again, I don't know why it's not attaching to this, because that would be useful. It would actually let me, you know, build something. Okay, and then like one more here. Come on, man. This is like so finicky. So if we say that's our main there, then we're going to do two this way, three this way, and then a spotlight. And that should be the end of our... Uh, we might want to pull this back. I didn't think about how far out it goes. So let's... Can I build off of these for ease of use? These are so hard to place right now. Come on. Okay. And then we'll get rid of these. Come on. Come on. What do I have to, what I have to do? And let's go ahead and get rid of these. to tweak that, although that might stay there for a while, I'm, I'm not sure yet, we'll see. Okay, so we need then the th two by threes, which... Wait a minute, that doesn't seem right. Oh, it's because we put it on the center, that's what it is, okay makes more sense. I was like, how do I center a 2x3 on a 3x3? Three three? Like this. Come on. Man, these are so hard to get it to grab anything. Okay, so that's... And then what do we say? Three steel blocks? One, two, three, and then spotlights. And I think that'll be a bit more doable, to be honest. Like, this feels a bit kind of over the top, if you will. Um, where do we. What was it? Rows of two? Yeah. And then. Spotlight. And that'll be our. End point, which should go up there. Is this connected to anything by... Yes, okay, it's connected up there. So let's go ahead and take this... F 
Nope, wrong button. Take this out. So that's our end point. Um... This is our end point. Because we're going to need that, I think. So yeah, that's kind of my plan, is I will probably... Um charge up so I don't die. I'll probably take that entire section of the um, thing out on the on the bottom here, or on the interior. Um, and then let's see. Yeah, I'm probably gonna redesign the inside here somehow. I don't know. I really don't know what to do with this wall. Because it sticks out, but then comes back in. Unless... Unless we built off of, like, this... I don't know. I don't know. I might just do a invert. Well, I kind of already did that, I guess. So, yeah, I'm really stumped <clears throat> on what to do with the station. Uh, so definitely leave me your feedback as far as... if Should we just scrap this whole station, grind it all down, other than this guy. I need this in place. Um, and make a whole different design, or you know, make one floating out here that's not actually connected to the asteroid. Actually, you know what? Definitely let me know if you agree or disagree, because I want everyone to enjoy uh, my videos and stuff. I don't want it to be like, oh, you're building something that everyone hates, so no one's going to enjoy it. But... Would it be more interesting to have a Elite Dangerous station? I, and I mean that literally, like I might actually go ahead and build it like a cube because here's my here's my thought on how we could design it. Um, let me just do a new station right here real quick. So say this is our like this is gonna oh gosh, really? I'm out of steel. I gave all my steel to the ship. Um, the reason I say doing it exactly the same, well, okay, on the outside. The inside I'm not going to be able to replicate, I don't think. But the outside, I could, I think. Um, and let me show you what, where my head's at. So if we did something like, let's just make our base structure. So say this is like the support holding up the inside, but it's actually hollow on the inside. You could do... Um, I'm trying to think of how this, the thing's actually designed in the game without looking at it. I don't have any reference images in front of me. Um, but what I'm thinking is you could basically do something like this kind of thing. Um, well, actually, I don't know if that's how they do it or not. I think it is. I could be totally wrong, but I think that's kind of how it goes. Is like this, and then you've got the square here that would be like your... Actually, we could leave that open for now. Well, no, I won't. But that would, like, represent your... Um... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Th the hangar door. That's where I was going with that. Let me see if this actually... doesn't look bad. Nope. Why I'm having really hard times with the collision boxes today. Something kind of along that lines, but on a bigger scale, using these blocks and stuff. And I would have a reference image, but the thing is, the corners and stuff, you they basically it's like a big version of some of blocks that you have in Space Engineers, so it really wouldn't be that hard to replicate its design. Um. But I was thinking that way it would be kind of like an elite where you have to like fly out of the hangar and everything to go do your mining runs 
and stuff. Um, and it would actually, believe it or not, I personally think something like that um, would be easier than doing this. I know, it sounds really funny that, like, but as far as design-wise and stuff, I feel like I could do that better than trying to do this stationary one that I could... Because my thought process is this exterior that you're used to seeing spin. What I'd actually do is have a internal layer that's a station and doesn't go anywhere. And then an external layer that makes up the frame of what it looks like. Like, so, essentially the station on the inside might just be a box or something, but the outside is going to be a bigger box that's a large ship, and it will look like the exterior is spinning, if that makes sense. That's kind of my plan, and I kind of got a little... Saying it out loud like that kind of got me a little excited for it, so I'm thinking if everyone approves and doesn't mind it, I'm going to scrap this whole station design and move it out, out uh, somewhere in the sun where we can see what's going on since I turned the asteroids off and make like an elite dangerous one that actually spins and we can fly in and out of so um, let me know what you guys think about that in the meantime I'm going to end the episode here I hope you all enjoyed if you did leave a like and I'll see you all next time peace